Welcome to the greatness. Xbox Showcase displayed over 20 games. I'm going to break it down in three sections. Games I'm interested in, those I currently don't care about, and my overall impression of the showcase. Here are the ones that caught my attention. Avowed by Obsidian, makers of Fallout New Vegas. An action RPG where you are investigating a plague that is corrupting the world. There are a variety of skills to choose from, such as magic, dual wielding, and flintlocks. The environment shown seem like this will be an interesting world to explore. Release date 2024. Starfield by Bethesda, makers of Elder Scrolls and Fallout. An action RPG that lets you explore thousands of planets. Much to discuss here, we'll make a separate video about it. Release date September 6, 2023. Metaphor Refantasio by Atlas, makers of Persona. An RPG with a mix of a medieval and modern setting. The art design is excellent, even the menus are detailed. This looks to be a great game from what's been shown so far. Release date 2024. Persona 3 Reload by Atlas. An RPG where characters have a persona that grants some special abilities. This is a remake of a very popular RPG franchise. This game will also be available for PlayStation and PC. Release date 2024. Fable by Playground, makers of Forza Horizon. I did not like that they showed no gameplay. I am already hesitant since the only game Playground have done are racing games. This reboot is only on my radar because I enjoyed playing the original, a less serious action RPG in a fantasy world. And here are the other games shown. They just didn't capture my attention enough when I already have a large backlog of games to play. Compulsion premiered their next big game, called South of Midnight, but explained nothing of what the game is about. Companies need to learn how to do presentations correctly for new IPs. Give us gameplay of what to expect, or at least mention it. Star Wars Outlaws had no gameplay during the showcase, but it was revealed the next day. It is developed by Massive, the makers of The Division. You have a pet that can be commanded to do certain actions such as press a button or retrieve an object. There is a wanted system, which instantly I'm thinking, this game is Grand Theft Auto in the Star Wars universe. If we can hijack spaceships and speeders and modify them, then this game will gain my attention. There were over 10 console exclusives, but Perfect Dark, State of Decay 3, and Stalker 2 were not shown. Gamers will have to accept that E3 is gone, and this is how annual events will be from now on with less quality presentations. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and until next time, peace.